Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. Long time no talk. I feel like every time it's been a while since we've last talked, there is so much to update you guys on. And there is, oh my gosh. Okay, so we are getting ready to go out of town to go to Indiana so that I can go home and see my family. I'm super excited about that because the last time we saw them, was well actually we just saw my parents um a couple of months ago when they came but i haven't seen my grandmother and like my aunts and uncles in almost a year at this point so i'm really excited to see them and catch up with everybody um we're basically going just to spend time with them and my mom for mother's day which i'm super excited about we actually went to Indiana last year for Mother's Day so I think at this point we're gonna make it like a yearly thing an annual thing and I'm excited because this year I'm gifting my mom and my grandmother some really pretty Anna Louisa pieces that I picked out for them so if you don't know about Anna Louisa girl where have you been clearly under a rock because I talk about them in pretty much every video at this point I I love 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 Anna Louisa and all of their pieces Every piece of jewelry that I have on right now, including my wedding band, is from Anna Luisa. I got some new bracelets from them. I have these new um, hoops that have the little drop, which I have been wearing out. And then I'm interested in these nice, pretty, small, dainty stud or not studs, hoops. And y'all know that I'm a big hoop girl, okay? But I've been more interested in these small like kind of dainty studs these days and they just look so cute all of their pieces are so affordable they start at just 39 dollars and y'all see i do not take these bracelets off at all i wear them in the shower i wear them when i'm washing my face i never take them off now i do get new ones every once in a blue moon or so just because i like switching them out but my Anna Louisa collection at this point is huge. I'll link to all of my jewelry and have my coupon code in the description box because I always have a coupon code with Anna Louisa just to save you some coin. And of course, shout out to them for partnering with me in this vlog. So yeah, girl, I'm excited to see my family. I'm just not excited about this drive because it is a, it'll probably be around an 11 hour drive at this point just because we have two small children and Elora is potty trained, so we're gonna have to keep stopping for potty breaks, stopping for food and snacks and all of the like. I'm trying to style my hair how I've been styling it to conceal my bald spots because my hair is falling out like crazy from postpartum hair loss. And I'll talk about that more at the end of the vlog. I am not happy that my hair is falling out because I've been very serious about growing it out. And it's long, like it, it's growing pretty well. But the postpartum shedding is just, it's ridiculous at this point. Like I, I can't stand it. So I think that, that I mean, this is just going to have to be good for the rest of the day, honey, because it just is what it is at this point. What time is it? Hey, Google, what time is it? It's 12.50 p.m. Okay, Elliot just left to go get Elora from school. The little baby is asleep. I have to pump. She's probably going to wake up soon, but I already have some um, fresh milk already pumped for her. But I do need to pump because it's been about four hours. I've been taking some electrolyte gummies and I low-key had to slow up on taking them because of how much milk it was causing me to produce because the more hydrated you are the more milk you produce right i plan on doing some type of how to increase your milk supply video because every time i've actually tried intentionally tried to increase my milk production i've always had success so i think at this point i know a thing or two about it and i don't know i just feel really strongly about mothers who want to breastfeed their babies but can't because of a low milk supply i've never really had that issue i mean i i, I thought i did when i had elora but she just was an exclusive nurser for 19 months so i never really pumped as long as i had enough to actually feed her like as long as enough milk was coming out of my breasts we were good but this time around i'm an exclusive pumper elena doesn't really nurse she just 
bottle feeds and drinks my breast milk. This is what they look like. I found these at Wegmans. They're the Trace Minerals brand. I have a lot of their minerals and supplements and stuff, but I found these at Wegmans. I think they were like $20. Now, they taste okay to me. I'm not going to say they taste good, but they taste okay. They're just very salty because, as you probably know, there's a lot of salt in electrolytes. Oh my god, I have to face that light. I mean, there's really no point at this point because we're about to move again. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, these were causing my milk supply to go up to the point where I actually had to stop taking them. But also, I'm still taking the Mother's Love supplements. And those also cause my supply to increase. So just stay tuned. I think I'm going to do the how to increase your milk supply video because I've had a lot of success. And... I really want to share that all right girl there's a lot to do we have to pack our bags i have to do some laundry and um do all of the things to get ready for our trip so the next time i see y'all will probably be in indiana say good morning good morning everybody good morning mommy's favorite owl good morning man. Today is a lovely day in the Nelson household. Yes, it is. It is. I gotta give you guys an update on how Miss Mari is doing. Since we are. Yeah, see, I'm doing so much better. Good morning. I am rushing to get ready to go to brunch, our early Mother's Day brunch, with my mom my aunt my sister cousin and my nana and obviously my daughter i'm in indiana right now if you can't tell so yeah i'm rushing to just put on a little face not too much i can't really do too much anyway because i forgot my beauty blender which is like really hard because that's how i blend out my concealer and stuff luckily i have this uh ankled kabuki brush I think this is by Lily Kisses. So yes, this Mother's Day is really special because I got my mom and my grandma some of my favorite things. Some Anna Louisa jewelry and I'm gonna give it to them at brunch. I'm so excited. My grandma hardly ever wears jewelry. The only thing she wears is her wedding ring. And then um, she hasn't really been to church physically since COVID, since before COVID. So she hardly ever wears jewelry anymore. And so I got her, um, I got her some really nice dainty studs that she can just keep in her ears. Now I said this last Mother's Day, but jewelry, especially from Anna Luisa, is one of the best gifts you can give someone for Mother's Day, especially um, you know, that special lady in your life who just loves jewelry as much as I do, which is why I just love gifting these pieces. I have some new Anna Louisa pieces on and I gifted myself these for Mother's Day because y'all know how obsessed I am with their jewelry. Like, come on, look at my new bracelets. <laughs> and then I got these new Huggy Hoops with the drop, oh, I love them so much. I wanna show you guys what I got my mom and my grandma. Ugh, I think they're gonna love them. But let me hurry up and finish my makeup because we gotta go. Elora had her first black hair salon experience yesterday. How did you like it? Good. That's good. Your hair is cute. Thank you. Her Gigi bought her some makeup last night when we went to the mall. So that's what you see on her face. <laughs> Like, what is she doing? Mm. Don't ever take these out. Ever? 
It might be closed up. I don't know. Because you ain't put earrings in there in a while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. all. It should go in there, Larissa. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got it. You can sleep in these. I sleep in them all the time because they're so comfortable. Mm. That's why I say you don't have to take them out. So, okay. so I did. Are you ready? I'm sorry, Ma. Yeah. This is your mother's stake up. Can't see it. Here. You like them? Oh, girl? pretty, Larissa. Thank you. Aren't they pretty? Pretty. I love it. Do you think you'd be able to sleep with them on? And you said don't take them out ever. No. Okay. I don't think they're going to hurt to sleep because I sleep in these all the time. Ah, and they don't really hurt. We'll see. You like them? Uh -huh. They're I nice do. everyday earrings. I do. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. <laughs> I like them. I knew you were going to like them too. I like them. These are, these are some of my favorite like, pair because... Like but you I know what? I stopped... Wearing my earrings Ooh, because you stop going to church. Well, no, it's because my uh, my hands shake, shake, oh. and trying to get. And you you saw how hard it was for you to get them in. Yeah, I was supposed to give you those in addition, but this is the necklace that matches. Ah! Ah! And then here's another pair I knew you would love. Ah! Oh, Lord, I took my ear my necklace. Ah! Thank you. You like them? Oh, I do. Can no, I put them on. For me? Listen, now she, these me? are, this is her, yeah. this is right up her alley. Yes, hey, it is. Gigi. Ooh. Is it for me? They fancy. No, that's for Gigi. Here, let me put it on her. These, ah. these, these are not going to tarnish ah. either. They don't tarnish. Oh, good. So that's why I, these bracelets that I have on, oh, Lord. like I never, I literally never take these off. Wow. I wear them in the shower, I wear them to sleep. Wear them when I wash my hands and stuff. Wear them in the shower? Mm-hmm. Every single... I never take these off. Well, I get new ones every once in a while. <laughs> like, these are brand new because I just got a, a new batch or whatever. <laughs> but no, I never take them off. Oh, oh, they, yeah, you like it, Dad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have the same one. Mm -hmm. This is the only necklace I ever wear because it's not doing too much. Don't there you go. Happy Happy Mother's Day! Day. Thank you, baby girl. Yay. I love it. I love it. Isn't that nice? Do you, you want love mirror? it? Yes. Yes. I would like to see. Ah. I love these earrings. These are the perfect size. Oh, pretty. They're beautiful. Let me see. You want to see? Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at your pretty earrings. Yeah, these are these are the other ones. Oh. So, you look at kind of match that necklace, but she when I look was switching my, out her earrings, she wanted these. Look at my eyeshadow. Uh -huh. oh, that's beautiful. Good morning. It is actually now the afternoon, not morning. We are at Whole Foods. We just pulled up. We're about to go in. I accidentally had Popeyes last night, not really knowing that their batter, their chicken batter. It tastes has like a milk. <laughs> that, that, that just so weird. here we are. I don't know. I didn't Having like, a day, like, Elena is acting like section. she had milk. So I think it, it has like <laughs> she is allergic like to milk protein, so you can imagine um, what we're going through right now. Milk. Yeah, it's okay though. It's okay. We're gonna get it together. So we're at Whole Foods because yeah, I need all of the dairy-free things. Sure I'm, I'm gonna have to start cooking all of my food from scratch, which I'm trying to like change my mindset around. Because so I, I just I, I just know this is the journey that, that the Lord has me on sit. right now, and I'm just having to yield and it's super spicy. I mean, you know, accept it. Um, which I mean, uh, it's all right. It's, it's for my baby. I will uh, literally do anything for my baby. Chips, so chips here we are, chips. about to go into Whole Foods. I have a list for now. Let's go because it is 12:06, and we have to pick Laura up from school at one. So. Let's go. I'm looking for a dairy free cream of chicken, but I'm probably gonna have to make it myself. Just to be quite honest. The thing that yeah. I love about Whole Foods is that yeah. they have the um, little tags on here. So if it is dairy free, it'll tell you next to the price, which makes it easier. But I'm not even gonna lie, this is a bit overwhelming. I think I've gone to Whole Foods maybe like twice in my entire life and both of the times were 
when I was in Indiana. So this is my first time here in North Carolina. And this is a little overwhelming and intimidating, if I'm being quite honest, but we're gonna get it done. We're gonna get it done. I found the dairy-free Parmesan, which is something that I need. So I'm gonna cross that off of my list. Now I just need the dairy-free cream cheese, the dairy-free mozzarella, found it oh this is the brand that I was looking at this is the brand that I was looking at earlier so I got my dairy free mozzarella they said this is a really good alternative to like real mozzarella we're gonna see I'm looking for the whipping cream and what else? cream cheese I keep saying that how do I keep forgetting it and butter 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 can't forget the butter okay I'm feeling really pressured right now <laughs> <laughs> because there are people in here and there's a lot of people there's a lot of people in here so um, I didn't see the country crop one that I wanted to get so I got this plant-based butter hopefully it's good if it's not I decided to pick this one up also this is oat milk butter I don't know we're gonna see but I see the dairy-free heavy whipping cream here why the heck is it literally six dollars and 29 cents oh my gosh i have to stop and tell you guys about these elliot put me on to these on sunday and when i tell you i ate the whole bag in under like 10 minutes oh my god they are so good all right we came we saw we shopped we also spent $87, but I mean, that's that bad. Alright, we have dairy-free chicken and crab alfredo. It doesn't look appetizing, but we're about to go taste test and see. I am really nervous because when I tasted this, it definitely did not taste like regular alfredo. I mean, I don't expect it to, but as long as it's not nasty, I'll be fine. It's actually pretty good. Okay. Definitely doesn't taste like regular Alfredo. I don't know, my husband might say it does, but it's actually not bad. Well, we're gonna put your I wanted to taste it first before so I actually the showed the recipe. No. Before I actually showed the I recipe. I'm about to make it. I'm about to make it place. That's pretty decent. I'm actually thoroughly surprised. And I didn't really measure anything. The only thing I measured out was the whipping cream, the heavy cream. Mom, what is that? Just taking off right Hi, happy Sunday. Uh oh, I don't think I can do this with one hand. Oh, Lord have mercy. Hold on, y'all. Girl, I got me some olive garden. I have not had Olive Garden since Elena was a new newborn because after I found out about her uh, dairy sensitivity, her dairy allergy, I haven't been able to eat it because of all of the dairy that's in this pasta, the chicken cabanera. Oh my God. It is literally my favorite thing from any restaurant in the whole entire world. When I was postpartum, I was eating this literally every day. Like I would buy the meal and eat on it for two days, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, eat on it the next day, and then go back to Olive Garden and get the same thing, rinse and repeat. <laughs> I have to figure out how to make this myself. It's about this day. Let me finish eating so that I don't have to talk to you guys while there's food in my mouth. That is so not classy, hold on. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this grape. You wanted to come back inside? No, I want to go off this top. Why? Because I'm going off the top. Your fault. Happy Mother's Day to all of the mamas out there. <sighs> what can I say? Mother's Day for me since I became a mother has just been like, look, okay, so <laughs> I feel like when you're in the trenches of motherhood, with young babies, young kids. Mother's Day is almost like 
another day and for me specifically every year until this year elora has acted the craziest on mother's day but today she's being a little angel so but my husband always tries to make sure that i have really great mother's days i love you mommy <laughs> He he's always tried to make sure that I have a really good Mother's Day, and he always does. But absolutely not. You can go over there and eat your dinner that you didn't touch. We didn't do anything today other than go to church. But church was great, always. Church is always great. No, you're not gonna get a snack. You can have your dinner over there. Do you want me to cut your chicken? Can you take your shoes off, please? Is, these are the trenches that I was talking about. No, I need you to take them off over there off of the carpet, please. So yeah, we, we didn't do much today. We've just been chilling. I've been making my courtesy calls. I got my Olive Garden and I'm sure my husband is gonna take care of me tonight. So my hair and makeup were way cuter earlier than it than it is right now. My face is super oily. I've been touching it. I don't have my lip on and then my hair I've been like Playing in it. I'm gonna hurry up and eat this pasta so that I can wash my face and get in the shower and relax because I've been up since 4.45 this morning and I have not taken a nap. Is she smiling? Or is she annoyed? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> You're so cute, Lord. Look at you, Elena. <laughs> Slap her on him, Elena. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm trying to find a detangler because I ran out of my Care Care detangling spray, so I don't know what else to use. I gotta go find something. Okay, I just found this um, Design Essentials Agave and Lavender Blow Dry and Silk Press Blow Dry and Styling. I actually do blow dry my hair when I first wash and condition it just to set the style in place so I guess I can start using this but the sprayer is terrible. My hair is falling out so much. Postpartum shedding, postpartum hair loss is really messing me up this go around. I have so many bald spots in my hair I know you can't really tell because it looks full but it's an illusion yeah i've been wearing it a certain way to kind of conceal my bald spots because they're really bad every time i have to put my hands in my hair i am horrified at how much hair comes out and the thing is it's not breaking off it's coming out from the root so that's how i know it's postpartum hair loss i'm going to show y'all what it actually looks like in the next video and we're going to talk more in depth about my postpartum hair loss and the things that I'm doing. But what I will say now, I made some rice water and some rosemary water. Both of them I used today along with my deep conditioner. So I'm going to show you how I make that. And then um, we're just going to go into depth about this whole postpartum hair loss thing because it is really ruining my confidence. Okay, I didn't blow dry this time around. I just combed it back. Like combed, combed the gel through and left it alone. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna close out the vlog here. I have to go to the doctor later on this evening. Thank God my doctor's office stays open late so that I can just go right after I cook dinner and get that off of my to-do list. I still have double pink eye. And this morning I woke up with my throat super scratchy and burny and my nose runny and I, I just, have not been feeling well so we're gonna have to get this under control last time i go, went to the doctor she prescribed me some antibiotic eye drops that have not been working and i just had pink eye in my right eye but now i have it in both so i'm not sure if the pink eye is bacterial or not like we thought it was and now i have these other symptoms that i'm dealing with so yeah i'm just gonna um, chill for the remainder of the day. I actually have to go to Target after I pick you Laura up from school. I'm so sick of going to the style. Oh my god. 
going to the store means spending money. I hope that you all had a lovely Mother's Day. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I'll link all of my favorite Anna Louisa pieces and everything that I wore throughout this video. So make sure you check the description box. Also, make sure you use my coupon code so that you can get you a little money off, girl. All right, I love you guys, and we will chat in the next video. Mwah!